Dembele, just on that, uh, interesting, uh, just to, to clarify for those members of the public who haven't read every page of the document, how, how, how clear are we on Molefe's presence on the actual property rather than potentially maybe at some Shabin round the corner? Well, so these are so this is the thing, and and I think that this is where uh, Mr. Milita's um, defence and outcry is coming from, is that there is a there are a number of records that show that Mr. Milita was in the area in Saxon Road between uh, the fifth of August. 2015 and 17th of November 2015, when the decisions around this relationship between Tegeta and ESCOM were supposedly being made, and these agreements were the the coal supply agreement was being was being made, was being discussed and being made, um, and then what we know also from uh, Mr. Gupta is that he said that the that Ms. Molita visited often, but he ha- did not state where the Ms. Molita, you know, visited during that period. Mm. So, as, and I think that this is an important thing to then remember about what this report actually says and what it and what it recommends, because these are all, and and the public protector refers to all of these things not as findings, but as observations. Yeah. And as observations that then require further investigation. So we all know uh, that uh, with uh, even with, with the police, if they see something and they say, "Well, no, this is suspicious," we require it's required to investigate it further to ascertain guilt, and that's basically what is in the report in relation to uh, Mr. Mulefe and the Gupta family around the negotiation of this coal supply agreement, uh, which the which to get eventually received, and um, I think there's record of a billion. Um, it's a billion rand that that, that 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 was transferred. So it's basically saying there are all of these separate things that have taken place uh, that point to some to relationships and to interactions that violate uh, the codes of ethics of in our companies act that violate uh, procurement regulations that violate. Uh, the that violate a whole number of regulations. That would appear they violate those. So we need to have further investigation to then ascertain, for example, if when the cell phone uh, records say that Mr. Mulete was in the vicinity of Saxon Road, you know, further investigation is what will allow you to be able to say, well, was he then at the actual Gupta farmhouse or was he elsewhere in, in the area? Was he at the zoo? You know, the very close to the Gupta yes. house is the zoo lake and the zoo there's the war museum, you know, was he at any of those places? Yeah. Uh, and so, and those are the things that we would hope would then be uncovered in a judicial uh, commission of inquiry. Yeah. So these, all of these things are, be, are placed in the report as saying, this has happened, this has happened, this has happened. They seem to uh, indicate uh, some kind of irregularity or wrongdoing, but I can't make, uh, the Public Protector's Office can't make an absolute finding on that, so it needs to be investigated further in a judicial inquiry.